So we've had a look at angle theorems. Now there's a few tangent theorems to do with circles. So the first one, well, sometimes we call it an assumption, uh, but it's easy enough to sort of prove using an, an idea. Okay, and that, this what I'm talking about. In case you haven't worked today, yet, is that the, the tangent and the radius are always perpendicular to each other. Okay, and the way I sort of well think about it, it's not exactly a proof as such is, well, I know that I can draw a chord in, and I know that the perpendicular from the centre will always bisect the chord. We, we've already proven that. We know that's going to be true. Now, if I let 2y be the length of the chord, what's going to happen? As I move my chord further and further out, so as that distance x, so the distance from the centre, approaches the radius, then clearly the length of y would have to approach zero. So we're getting closer and closer. So in fact, if I move it closer and closer, until we get to that instant where it hits the circumference. Now, it's still going to be perpendicular, because we've just slid it along. But at that exact point where we hit the circumference, then the radius becomes perpendicular to the tangent. So it's not a proof as such, but it's an easy way, of, I guess, of thinking about it, because we know about that chord already. So clearly, if we push it out, then we get to the situation with the tangent being perpendicular to the radius, what you were going to say. OK. Um, external points. We saw with our parabolas, and it's also true with circles, that you can always draw in two tangents from an external point. And the thing we know about that with, with our circle geometry is that the distance will be equal, but also the line joining the point to the centre will be like an axis of symmetry. So there's the situation, external point, two tangents, one touches at A, one touches at B, so I know that the length of AT will always be the same as the length of BT. And so if I use that one, I say, well, tangents from an external point are equal. Okay, let's prove that one. So I'm going to join a few radii in, but I'm also going to join O to T creating a couple of triangles, which now all I've got to do is prove these two triangles to be congruent, and we'll have what we want. So, from what we just saw, we know the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So, OAT and OBT, they're both equal to 90. OT is a common side in both triangles. And OA and OB are both radii. So, we have got right angle hypotenuse side. So, yes, they are congruent. So therefore, AT and BT, they become matching sides in congruent triangles. So there's our proof of, of that little theorem. Okay. Well, we have two um, circles touching each other. And what we said earlier was they would share a, a common tangent at the point where they touch. But the other thing that happens is that point of contact and the two centres will always be collinear. Always lie on the same line. So if I want to use that one, I'd say, well, look, I know OT and H will be collinear because the centres and the point of contact with the common tangent will always be collinear. All right, let's have a look at...